Hey everybody, hello, hello, welcome to Cheap Comic Collector, it's episode number 445, sorry, I got confused, <laughs> uh, September 2nd, Tuesday, Monday, Monday. Yeah, that, that that whole Batman thing on Sunday nights is throwing my, my, my schedule off a little bit because I squeezed it in the lines in between. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's Monday, September 2nd. Um, so I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, we're going to be looking through some comics, as always. And, oh, it's Monday, so uh, check out. Uh, Psychotronic Squirt Guns channel tonight. I'll be on his show uh, with him um, selling comics. You know, just like we do on Saturdays, except uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, a little bit uh, newer books usually from me. Um, but, but you never know what makes it through Saturday. Sometimes shows up again on Monday for a second chance and uh, so on and so forth. Um, They've been doing pretty good, so you might want to check that out if you have time. It is tonight at 6.30 Eastern, or it should be. I mean, I'm yeah, recording this four weeks in advance or so, so as far as I know, that's when we're still doing it. <laughs> uh, before we get into some books today, I'm going to go through what I was supposed to show you yesterday. I read this. And so I want to review that. It is Doomed and the Damned from DC Comics. It's an 80-page giant that originally retailed for 10 bucks. And it's got kind of a cool back on it, even though it's just, you know, that's all it is. But anyway, let me take you up top. Get zoomed in, all that good stuff. Not that far. Right. right about there is good. And if you could, uh, hit that like button. I appreciate that. If you're not subscribed, feel free. It is free. Doesn't cost you a dang thing. Uh, so this is 10 Twisted Team Up Straight from Your Nightmares. And it is square bound. And... It was okay. It was interesting because it's short stories, and I I enjoy seeing how creators handle a short story because they used to be masters at it, and unfortunately, that's not the way things are anymore. <laughs> uh, but there is like 10 stories in here, um, and the first one is Madame Xanadu and Man Bat. Uh, it's done by John Arcudi and Mike Perkins. And, uh, yeah, it's Man Bat and Madame Xanadu investigating uh, some kind of demonic presence. It's inhabiting this deceased lady's body. And that's quick. It's, it's pretty quick. It's two, four, six, eight pages. So... Yeah, probably each story is about eight pages long. Um, and it was okay. It wasn't too bad. It, I mean, the art's fine. The story's okay. Um, none of these stories really nail it where you're like, oh, wow, that was so cool. You know, they're just really short stories. And they're fun. They're cool. But none of them... None of them make you just go wow, you know, but they're but they're cool. Um, the next story is uh, let's see, Batman in Urban Legends, and this one's not really a team up. I don't think it's got cool art. Uh, writer is Saladin Ahmed, artist is Leonardo Manco. Um, but that's an awesome Batman right there. Nice drawing. And uh, he also is kind of, you know, fighting this, like, demon-type thing. But it's not actually a team-up. They said it was supposed to be all team-ups. So, whatever. <laughs> the next one is... 
I forgot who that is. Green Lantern and Jason Blood. Yeah, Demon Etrigan. Um, so of course you can't do a Demon book without without the Demon in it, right? So, so they team up reluctantly. Uh, demon threatens to kill Green Lantern if he gets in his way and such. Uh, the next one is written by Amanda Delbert. Artist is Daniel Samper. And this one is Wonder Woman. Yes, Wonder Woman and Raven. Um, so in this one, Wonder Woman actually gets possessed and Raven has to talk her into how to, how to fight the possession. So with her using her magic lasso somewhat so that's kind of cool uh next one solomon grundy and uh uh rajel ghoul team up kind of <laughs> uh story by marv wolfman tom mandrake this is probably my favorite of the stories uh if anybody can pull off a short story it would be marv wolfman um, out of the creators that are in here. And uh, basically, Raz al Ghul uses Solomon Grundy to rejuvenate his healing immortality powers or something somehow. And, uh, you know, it just uses this old Solomon Grundy rhyme, you know, born on a Monday, etc. Uh, as its basis the art is cool as you can see it, it, uh, that one was pretty good if anything it was too short uh, and that's what you want a short story to be you want them to leave you wanting more um the next one uh, is called from humble roots um amided torturo is the writer max fumara is the artist fiumara fiumara I think is the artist uh yeah Superman and Man Thing versus Clayface. That was pretty good too. Um and then you got uh Cassandra Kane in her orphan identity. And she is teaming up with I don't remember. Oh, it was a bad guy. Um, yeah, this guy. Uh, Orca, I think his name is. Yeah. So that was kind of cool, too. It was uh, by Alyssa Wong and Domo Stanton. And they're basically going to kill the bad guy <laughs> uh and then you got frankenstein on mars along with aquaman because there's some kind of water problem on mars <laughs> it seems quite strange um and let's see that one was written by brandon thomas artist was beldemar rivas and then you have beast boy raven and uh i think it's witch boy uh and the art and story is by travis moore and now that i'm looking through this i think i enjoyed it a little bit more than i thought i did um because i do you know, they were just really quick, quick stories. And they didn't really have that hook ending that you kind of want on a on a quick story. But uh, oh, this one was really strange. This is writer Garth Ennis, artist PJ Holden. And uh, basically, uh, Dark Seeds in a Dark Sides in a bar. <laughs> and uh he gets challenged to a drinking contest and can't back down because it's being broadcast onto Apocalypse where everybody's going to lose respect for him if he 
if he backs down from the drinking contest. Um, and he loses. <laughs> uh, so that one was kind of funny, but uh, yeah, not a bad, not a bad read. Not great, but but it was it was pretty good. I I, I did enjoy it. I think I was just tired while I was reading it. Um, so anyway, that's what I've been reading lately. So let's see what I think I'm going to read uh, Uncle and Uncle Scrooge next. <laughs> but meanwhile, let's open up a box. I got a couple more uh, odd shaped boxes that will be make good packing boxes in the near future. So let's see what I got in this one. I have whatnot buys. Uh, from a Haunted Log Podcast. And let's see, they added up to twenty nine eighty five. I had 39 comics, so they came to $0.77 cents a piece. And I'll just get them out of the box here so I can show them to you. See what we get. Outsiders number four. I better bring my list up. See what I would like to keep. Insert. No, not insert. Sorry. Comics I own. That's what I want to bring up. There we go. And Outsiders. I think I actually have uh, most of the Outsiders in this box, but I uh, there was a number one, and I wasn't sure if I had number one or not. So when I got ahead and got the bundle that had that in it. Outsiders. Oh, I did have number one. I got one through three. Oh, well, I didn't think I did. Okay, well, I didn't have number four, though. So this I am going to keep. <laughs> and But three is up for grabs on Saturday. Or... A future claim sale, not necessarily on Saturday, but probably. I could put these in Monday's sale, but then I'd have to save them and remember. So it'll work better if I put them in the Saturday sale, I think. Uh, number two. And another number two. And a number one. Um, it does have some spine ticks on it. Several, in fact. Huh, I'd have sworn I didn't have that one. Oh, well. I must have got it at some point. And we have Ninjak. Uh, number one, one dollar debut from Valiant. Obviously a later series. And here is Ninjak number one. Also... A later series. So this says it's cover B. I don't know. I don't believe these aren't the same um, issue. So I guess they had more than one series uh, featuring Miss Fury and the Black Sparrow. That's cool. From Dynamite, guest starring The Shadow. Let's take a look inside of this one. This looks neat. Never heard of this series, but I like the cover. I like the characters. Uh, 
Oh, and it's a dynamite, so we should check for like variant covers or whatever, right? <laughs> this is cover A, so it is the the main cover. All they did was a a virgin and a black and white variant, so still looks like could be cool. And we got new Teen Titans number thirteen. Check my list on those. I probably have this one. And it's 90, it's the later series, right? Yeah, 1985. Yeah, I got this one. So, uh, and here is number 12. Do I need number 12? Nope. Number 11. Number 10. These are in nice shape, too. Uh, number 9. 8. 7. 6. 6. <laughs> 5. 4. No, this is 3. Number 3. Great George Perez art on all these. And let's see, number two, nice copy. Very, uh, like have a little wear, I guess, but not really any spine ticks, just wear. It's got some thumbprints over here. So the black is, is damaged from somebody's sweaty hands, it looks like. And number one, there you go. This is... Uh, I need this one, so this will be staying with me, too. I don't know if I've ever actually even looked inside a number one of the second New Teen Titans. I'm sure I've read the story at some point, but... Uh, Mar Wolfman and George Perez, goodness... Yeah, I do remember reading this story at some point. Um, some of these pages were cut funny. You can see the the fold over where it got folded basically in the wrong spot because you can see part of the illustration from the other page. Uh, this page. <laughs> Uh, you still read the comic and everything. It's just a little odd. But that's okay. Won't stop me from enjoying it. So I now have 1 through 16 of this series. Nice. And of course there's Trigon. Great, great, great stuff. So, uh, I will be keeping that one as well. Uh, Star Wars Chewbacca, number five. And number four. Three. One. Nice. Oh, and there's number two. So we got one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if that was a mini series or if uh, yeah, it, it was an ongoing or it went quite a few issues. I don't know enough about the Star Wars comics. That's why sometimes I I collect them. Um, let's see. According to my notes. Uh, there were five issues, if this is the 2015 version. <laughs> Which I believe it is. I don't know of another Chewbacca one, so... Yeah, 2015. So Those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, but I will put those in the sale, so somebody can grab them as a set if they want to. There's Lando, number two. 
and number one. Number five, four, and I might as well put those in the right order, I guess. And here's a Jessica Jones number one. Nice cover. Uh, JLA Black Baptism number one, two, three, and four. Uh, so these look kind of cool. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the the Black Baptism storyline, but I'm assuming this is a yeah. It says four of four, so it's a full set. Uh, it's by Scene Smith, Ruben Diaz did the writing, uh, Jesus Sayers, Keith Champagne did the pencils and inks. All right, well, the insides aren't as cool as I was hoping for, but it looks like it could be a pretty interesting story. The uh, covers are awesome. Uh, more Outsiders. This is number 19. Let me see. Go back to that series and see what I've got. I have 19. <laughs> number 7. I do not have number seven, so I'll be keeping that one. The Duke of Oil. <laughs> Duke, 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 Duke. Uh, number six. Looks like I need that one too. Number five. Oh, definitely need this one. I've never even seen this cover. Christmas Carol. Awesome. That fills in quite a few because I had four. And I got five, five, six, seven, right? Yeah. So that puts me up to, I need number ten. And that's just a backing board that was in the box. All right, so I got a few issues to keep for my runs, which may eventually end up in a sale the way things are going, but uh, we'll see. I'm really happy to get that new Teen Titans number one, and I'm really pretty impressed by this Outsiders Christmas Carol one as well. I don't know why I've never, as a fan of Christmas comics... Uh, would and and I like the outsiders. I would have thought I would have known about this one, but I guess I didn't. Is that the uh, what's his name that's in the metamorpho? The old guy. <laughs> Can't tell. Hmm. Nope, I guess not. Do, do, do. Uh, so basically, they put on the uh, whole. Ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future thing for somebody's benefit. <laughs> oh, there's a Black Lightning and Zatanna backup. Cool. 
that might be more interesting than the, the main story. All right, so yeah, gonna stick those in my stuff, and these will go to the sale. And we've got another box to open. This one was from Nick Henke. Henke. And this is also from Haunted Dog Podcast. Huh. That's a coincidence. Okay. Um, these I paid 99 cents a piece for. It says 15 comics. That's a nice box. And we'll see what's in here. Dungeons and Dragons Mindbreaker from IDW. This is one, two, and three. See, to be continued, it says. So I guess that was there were more issues. Uh, there's a cover of the next issue, and it apparently has pinups of the various covers that maybe they had for that issue. So cool. Micronauts, The New Voyages, number 19. So this was the second series. That's in really nice shape. Oh, you know what? I still need... I still need a few issues of the second series. Let me see if I need any of these. Oh, I need more than I thought. Um, no, that's not right. What am I looking at? Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> I've been ignoring issues of Micronauts in the sales because I thought I had the original series, but I don't. I have this series. I have the second series. I still need issues from the original series. Oh man, for weeks I've been I've been saying that I had the the whole Micronaut series and I don't. Or at least that's what I thought in my head. Huh. All right. Well, I have these. This is the last issue of the second series. These are in really nice shape though, so. Uh, and then we got some Morbius, the Living Vampire, oh, number 9. number one variant edition that's a cool cover not sure what the heck is going on there he's turning into a i guess he's changing into a bat maybe he's in the middle of metamorphosizing into a bat is that what's going on Nice art in here. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Not sure why he has blood all over him when he hasn't attacked the guy yet, but... <laughs> Eating a rat up in the rafters or something. I don't know. <laughs> I 
Right. Well, that's uh, Legacy number 42. It's a variant cover. It's from 2018, I think it says. That's cool. Um, Mystery in Space with Captain Comet. I should have the whole set here. We got number one, uh, Jim Starlin, Shane Davis, Matt Banning, and Elm Milgram. Plus the weird. So, number one, it's an eight-issue series. Number two, three, and I mainly bought this because it was the whole set. Four, five, Six, seven, and eight. And people said the weird was a good character. So, um, might be worth checking out. This one, uh, oh, it's got Jim Starlin and Ron Lim on it. So, you can't, that's a uh, great combination. Nice uh, cosmic series for DC. Cool. Wonder if, uh, yeah, this is Starlin and Davis. This is Starlin and Lim. This is Starlin and Davis. So mostly Starlin and Shane Davis, but a couple of the issues have Ron Lim on them, number six and number eight. For some reason, have Ron Lim doing the art instead. So, got some cool stuff in there. All right, <clears throat> that should do it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we will be back tomorrow with more comics to show and share. And I will see you soon. Have a good one.